Hey guys, my name is Kenry and welcome to the channel Wooden. Today I want to talk about my new laser which just arrived. My first impression when I unpacked the laser was really really positive. The assembly instruction is quite easy to understand. It took me about 50 minutes to build everything up and after this time I could start playing around with the laser. There is a software link in the assembly instruction. So you just basically download it for free and the software is really really easy to use. You just drag and drop PNG files like that and the program will give you a few settings um, you can choose. Once you choose your favorite settings you just push on father and say creating. And now you can see the program creates the outlines of the logo I just drag and drop. I use the laser most of the time to laser my wooden lamps and here you can see a tiger head that I just lasered and you can't even see any burn marks. It is super sharp and everything is on place where it's supposed to be. To laser pictures it was quite tough in the beginning to be honest. Uh, here you can see um, that the laser were way too strong so I burned everything. Um, this is a little unsure but it got better and um, here is the final result that what I think is the best result of the picture because you can see actually the people and the and the, sh and the shades and everything of the shirt that looks really really good and I think I found the perfect settings. Engraving woodworks, but how about leather? I also lasered the leather gloves from my neighbor. He's using that for motorcycling. And um, what do you see here? I lasered this first, and then I opened up the window and I lasered this the second. So this one is a little bit more pale, how you can tell. And this is because of the cooling system, I guess, of the laser. So I definitely want to build a housing around the laser to get better results. A cool feature is that you can adjust the height by just two screws um, of the laser head. This allows you to place different objects with different, different height on the laser. To place smaller objects in the right angle was a little bit tricky in the beginning. So that's why I mounted the laser on a wood panel and laser the grid. The next question you might have is can you cut with a laser? And the answer is yes, you can cut with a laser. I have small or really thin plywood here and um, the laser don't cut it at once. So you have to go over it many times. Like this board is about three millimeters, um, which is 0.1 inches. Um, and I expected that this laser will cut it at once, but it didn't. So this was kind of disappointing, but in the program, in the software, you can tell them like, hey, run over this two times, three times, four times, and you just go away and come back and the job is done. So it's, it's not a huge thing, but um, yeah, it can cut plywood. It also can cut um, any kind of plastic, which is not transparent. Once it's transparent, it doesn't cut it. So everything that is colored black, um, brown, even white works um, like the manufacturer gives you like small, small boards like these ones. Um, they are in the package and then you can play around with that. This is uh, I think like um, 0.1 inches and um, yeah like I said um, you got to run over it a couple times to make a cut. The manufacturer is writing down in the description of the laser that you even can engrave aluminum or stainless steel. So let's give it a try. So if you're not sure what kind of settings to use, um, this program will help you. Go to GRBL Material DB, scroll down to your laser. Uh, I got the A5 Pro and then you're looking for stainless steel and here you find all parameters you need to type in. Okay, here's my aluminum board. How you can see, you see nothing at all, not even a single line. So at this point, I guess the manufacturer is lying. Um, I chose the settings for stainless steel. Uh, stainless steel is a lot more or a lot harder than aluminum. Um, maybe, 
it's something about my, my reflection again here um, because it's too shiny. Maybe when it's matte, it will work. I don't know. But if you have like a normal board you get in a hardware store, like I do, um, it's not working at all. So I stick to wood and plastic with this laser, but don't expect that you can engrave aluminum or stainless steel, uh, at least not if you get an average board from the hardware store. All right, guys, I hope this video could help you a little bit. And if you liked it or was helpful, please give me a thumb up. And if you're interested in woodworking or extraordinary lighting solution, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and hope to see you next time too.